Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. My name is Bridget and let's continue with our shopping list app with React Native. So in last video, we have created this shopping item custom component and we have used it in our app.js file. So now let's continue further. We will create a header part. Uh, let's create that. Let's create a view first. Let's style it. Styles.header. Here first we have heading. Then we have number of shopping items. And then we have a delete button. Delete all. Okay, so in heading, let's create a text and name it shopping list. Let's style it. Let's say headings. Then number of shopping items, text. As of now, let's hard coded or uh, zero. Style will be styles dot let's say number. Actually, let's say number of items. And then delete button, we will use the same delete button then that we have used over here so for that we need to import the material icons let me just save this we also need to import the view And pressable okay here we have our heading so let's styling like header then in header we have heading number of items Okay, so first of all, we want these three items in the same row. We can use flex direction row. Let's apply color just to see how much area it occupies. Okay. Um, let's actually reduce the width to 90%. And align self center. Let's apply some padding. Let's attend. Let us delete some of the shopping item. Okay. Let's say justify content space between. Okay, now heading. Let's increase the font size. Let's say 20. Or 30 maybe. Let's apply font weight. Let's say 600. 500. Okay. And do flex 1. So it will occupy the maximum amount of space okay number of items let's increase the font size to 15 let's say
ओके थर्टी वॉन्ट वेट लेट से फोर हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड ओके Here in here, don't let's also do align item center. Let's do margin left, margin right. Sorry, ten. Okay, it's good. Let's delete the background color. ओके इन हेडर लेट सप्लाई मार्जिन बॉटम लेट्स अटेन ओके इट्स बेटर ओके सो वी हैव अवर हेडिंग शॉपिंग लिस्ट दिस जीरो विल रिप्रेजेंट द नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स इन अवर लिस्ट सो एज ऑफ नाउ वी हैव थ्री सो इट विल डिस्प्ले थ्री एंड वी हैव दिस डिलीट बटन लेट्स एक्चुअली इंक्रीज द साइज ऑफ द डिलीट बटन Okay, it's better now. Now let's create a text input at the bottom of the screen. For that, we need to import it first. Text input. So it will have a placeholder as of now. Enter shopping item. Let's apply some style. Let's say input. Okay, so first of all, let's apply some background color. Let's say light gray. Let's apply some padding. Ten. Font size. Of let's say fifteen. Seventeen. Let's say. Let's decrease the width to ninety percent. And let's say align cell center. Let's apply border radius. Let's say twenty. Ten. Okay, it's good. Now let's say margin top. Auto. Okay, so with margin top auto, uh, our text input will be stick to the bottom of the screen, no matter how many uh, list item we have in our list. Okay. So here, user can type anything he wants. Text input. Okay, so our front end part of the app is pretty much ready. We have one thing to do. Uh, we can change this icon based on user interaction. If user check this, then it will become the checked icon. And if user uh, uncheck this, then we will display this icon. But we will do that uh, once we make a connection between our app and the Firebase Firestore. It will become uh, a lot easier uh, then. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching it.